What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking Latafa fragrances. As you can see by the title and by the thumbnail, these are my favorites from the brand. These are the ones that I mainly suggest you check out. These are the recent love affairs with the brand. And why six? Because there's one I just could not leave out. I could not cut it down to five no matter how hard I tried. So we're talking about six from Latafa that I think are absolute must tries. These are the ones for you to target first if you're going to start exploring the house, in my opinion. So stay tuned. Starting with one of their best releases of the year, this is a clone of Parfums de Marley Sedley. This is called Mahir Legacy. Very reflective, as you can tell. Mirrored, has the horse head, kind of similar to Kahila Platinum from Paris Corner, similar horse head cap, very hefty, um, does click into place, but I still would suggest picking it up that way. So in the opening, you're going to get that minty lemon aromatic smell, but the biggest difference I've noticed from this to the original is this is a little bit spicier. Performance is kind of on par with one another in that six to eight hour range. You can get this for, for you know, $30 or less, depending on where you find it. I'll try to have links to all of these down below. Uh, but this is great. I actually did a full review on this one. Normally, if I get my hands on these and I do a full review, that means I'm really digging it, that I wanted to spend that much more time with it in a short period of time. So I went ahead and did a full review. And this actually, all but one of these, and the one that I didn't do a review on yet, I'm working on doing a review. So this is good stuff. If you ever were curious about Sedley, or let's say you tried Sedley and you just don't want to spend the money because you're like, ah, oh, that's too designer, of a scent profile for me to spend that kind of money because I have heard that said about Sedley. Sedley's phenomenal, but for the money, this is a great substitute. It's not exactly one-to-one. -one. I would say it's every bit of 90% accurate because like I said, it's very much a spicier take on the DNA, but overall, hard to tell a difference in the air. It smells pretty much just like Parfums de Marley Sedley, performs about the same for a fraction of the price. This is one I encourage you to check out from Latafa. This is Mahir Legacy. So I did a live stream first impressions review on this one. I haven't done a full review yet. I'm still working on a review. This is the one I was referring to a moment ago. Another newest release from Latafa. Body Al Oud, Honor and Glory. Smells like pineapple upside down cake. Kind of like Ani meets Hachivat. Supposedly it's like Hachivat X. I don't know. I haven't tried Hachivat X, but this is an addictive smell. The turmeric really stands out here. It's very woodsy and has a delicious gourmand cake-like smell to it. God, it's so good. And the sillage is fantastic on this. You live in this sillage. I don't go nose blind to it. I just smell it the whole time for hours and hours. I constantly get whiffs of it. Early on, it's constant. For the first two or three hours, that's all I could smell. Even just having three or four sprays around the neck. It's really strong and it's so enjoyable. It's perfectly unisex. I'm not the most gourmand fan but certain fragrances, if they're not just a complete snack or dessert-like thing and they have other elements to it and there's just a gourmand facet, that's the ones I like. Whereas that's what I think is going on here because the woody note here, this woody nuance as it dries, kind of counterbalances that dessert pineapple upside down cake accord that I get from this one. So do I want to wear something like this all the time, smell delicious all the time? Some of you may want to. It's situational for me, but right now, at the recording of this, I'm so in love with this. I think this is a great release this year from them, and one that I encourage you to try. They're doing great things in this line. We actually have another fragrance from this line in this video that we'll talk about next, but the newest release as of this recording, absolutely try this one. If you like pineapple, woods, and gourmands, you'll probably like Body Al Oud, Honor and Glory. So the first three are three new releases from this year. This is the other in the Body Out Oud line that I actually like even more than Honor and Glory. We're talking about Sublime. Smells like Hawaiian Punch and Rose. This is gorgeous. This is apple, lychee, plum, a little bit of jasmine, some Turkish rose. Performance is crazy. Um, four to six sprays, six sprays if you really want to stand out. This is breathtakingly good for me personally. You have to like feminine leaning rose heavy fragrances. It's so captivating, fresh and clean while being sweet, fruity and playful. It's a little flirty. Um, 
This smells great on my wife. It smells great on me. It's one of those couples fragrances that some of you guys hear me talk about from time to time. Just like Honor and Glory, very much a couples fragrance. Doesn't really lean all that masculine or feminine. Whereas here, it does lean more to the feminine side, but guys that like rose, you're going to like this. Very fruity floral, very fresh and inviting and super powerful. Slightly unique take on what most guys are going to wear. You're definitely going to set yourself apart from everybody around you. Wearing something like this, this is worth checking out. If you're diving into Latafa, my vote is definitely check out Body Al Oud Sublime. This next one you can get for $20 or less depending on where you find it. And I'm a huge fan. Some people compare it to a hybrid of Aventus meets Baccarat Rouge. And I know they say that because of the pineapple and the saffron. So I understand where they're coming from. But I think it's much more of a standalone because pineapple, saffron, and woods are mainly what you're going to get from Kedal Frasan. Another one I did a full review on this and huge fan. It was 15 bucks when I got it. I've seen it's more around the $20 range lately, but I mean, it's still a steal for 20 bucks. This is such a good one. It's a ripe, sweet, juicy pineapple, but warm because of the saffron dominance here. It's a warm, spicy pineapple smell. Dense woods. There's other things going on here, but those are the three main accords and notes that you're going to get from this one. Performance is solid. Not a beast. Slightly above average. Six to eight hour range and longevity on my skin. Some people get less. Some people get more. Some people get the same. Your mileage will vary. Everybody's skin and olfactory perception are going to be different from fragrance to fragrance, from person to person. And for me, like I said, above average performance. Not crazy strong, but far from weak. Uh, and it's just enjoyable. I think you can wear this from year round. It's not so warm and dense that you can't wear it in the high heat. I absolutely have. But it's got enough warmth and density to cut through the cold in the snow, which I have worn it during snow season in Colorado Springs. This is good stuff. This is a must try. This is damn near a must buy at this point from Latafa. This one definitely gets the TLTG Review stamp of approval. Please check this one out if you're diving into Latafa. And that's Kate Alfresan. Next is kind of an obvious one. It might even be in the thumbnail. I don't know. I didn't make the thumbnail yet. But man, it's it's a hype monster. And then some, it's a twist on Sauvage Elixir. This is Assad. Assad is that jam. Mid-20s to $30 range. Great performance. Attention grabbing. Warm and spicy. I do get the added nuances of the roasted coffee and the pineapple. Some people have told me they don't get it. They don't experience it when they spray it. Tea your own. Everybody's skin's different. I can't wait to spray this. Because it's so good. Aromatic, a little dry and spiced, a lot of warmth. Like I said, that juiciness kind of stops it from being as dry as Sauvage Elixir because there's a lot of nutmeg in Sauvage Elixir. I forgot exactly what the spices are here. There's even an iris note listed. I don't really get that. Um, I'm kind of surprised to see it in the note breakdown. I don't really smell any florals whatsoever. I get warm, spicy, aromatic, woodsy, a little fruity. Very warm, though. Very warm. Good stuff. Cozy fragrance in the cooler months. Not the most friendly fragrance for the summer, but the other seasons, spring, fall, winter, you can absolutely rock this one, especially in the evenings. This is some sexy stuff right here. Super masculine. I really enjoy this one. This is another, I mean, all of them in this video get my personal stamp of approval. To each their own. It's not easy to try to sample these affordable Middle Eastern fragrances. You're more than likely going to blind buy them. So try to make the most educated decision you can. But for me personally, this was a no-brainer blind buy when I got it. And I'm a fan. For the like 25 bucks or so you're going to pay for this one, it's pretty hard to beat. The hype is real on this one, people. Again, it's Latafa Assad. Last but not least, this is the one that I just could not leave off. No matter how hard I tried, because I really wanted to feature the other five, but I was like, how I can't not feature this one, because it deserves the praise too. A twist on Angel Share. Doesn't smell exactly like Angel Share, but this was a hype beast in 2022. This is Kamra. Kamra is ridiculously good. I get a little bit of like a crystallized sweet coconut smell on my skin. Very sweet fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Crazy powerful, warm spice, a little boozy from the benzoin, gives it that kind of boozy feel. Like I said, not quite angel share, but in the same vein, in the same realm. I've never sprayed more than four sprays, because even that spray in the air, it's overwhelming the airspace. This is super, super strong. Such a great fragrance. 
if you if you think sweet leans feminine, then yeah, this is feminine because it's a very sweet fragrance. But I think it's perfectly unisex. Again, sweet but very warm and spicy, ambery, rich and resinous. This is intoxicating stuff. This is phenomenal for the cooler weather and an absolute must have. If you buy stuff from Latafa, this is a must have in my opinion. I could not leave this out of this video. As much as I wanted this to be five fragrances, it couldn't be. All six of these, I'm a firm believer. And these are like the ones to buy. If you're going to start diving into the house, there's a lot of variety here across these six. A lot of performance and a lot of versatility. That's the thing. You've got a complete wardrobe here with fun stuff, with daily wear work stuff, with evening stuff, sexy stuff, cool weather, warm weather. We got something for everybody among these six. And this fragrance, in my opinion, is something for everyone. Definitely another one of those couples fragrances I talk about where ladies, guys, both of you can absolutely enjoy this one. A must from Latafa, in my opinion, is Kamra. Well, that's the six that I believe are just must have from Latafa. Whether you're just starting out with the brand or you've yet to get your hands on them, they're hype beasts for a reason. And I think it's very well justified and deserved for them because they're all great fragrances. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Of these six, what have you tried? What are you familiar with? What have you been meaning to get your nose on and you just haven't gotten around to it? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these six and you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.